Officer Rick here and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at my fire department vehicles so this is going to include all my fire apparatus as you can sort of see here and uh, we'll take a look at each one of these uh, vehicles individually so uh, without further ado let's uh, let's jump into this first up is my bumper truck and uh, this truck has undergone changes uh, a few times I've uh, I've rebuilt it several times but uh, now I'm overall happy with it however you never know I may still alter it in the future but uh, as it stands I'm quite happy with it and uh, as you can sort of see uh, in the cab section here you know just sort of looking in I do actually have four firefighters inside the uh, cab at the moment I uh, was able to sort of just adjust the arms, move them around, and get them all uh, sitting inside the, the truck together. And uh, it, it works for the most. I mean, ideally, it really should just take two figures. But uh, anyways, having a look at it here, you can see that I've got the um, windows on the rooftop here. And uh, as we come around, you have the pumper section. And uh, of course, we have the uh, special equipment in the sides here. You've got the oxygen tanks, and uh, there's a mallet in there. And then, as we get to the back of the truck, um, emergency lighting and access to our hose. We've got the uh, ladder for the firefighters to uh, to use. Basically, uh, basically what a fire truck should uh, should have. And then obviously we have some more equipment here. We have, uh, I believe this is the this is the fire extinguisher, and then a megaphone. This truck was probably uh, this was one of the first mocks I had ever done. Uh, of course, I've changed it a few times now, but uh, now I'm I'm like I said I'm happy with it. Um, it's meant to be a North American pumper truck. Um, you know, just looking at the front here, they all have that. Uh, they all seem to have that that look in the front. I've got the chrome grill pieces, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really about uh, about it for this one. Um, if you're looking for a more in-depth look at this one, uh, the video is up for this on my channel, so uh, feel free to have a look. But uh, in the meantime, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we've got the water tender truck, um, and essentially it's just a large tanker unit, uh, not based on any truck out there in particular, any uh, make or model, but uh, just what a tender should be. And uh, just on the sides here, you know, we've got some uh, extra hose and whatnot, uh, hose hookups, and. Uh, the only thing I sort of changed on this one is I did add the uh, red wheels and the chrome grill in the front uh, just to try and keep some uniformity amongst my uh, fire engines. Um, it's not a whole lot of action features for this truck, um, but overall I do like the look of it. You know, we've got our controls in the back and that may not be entirely accurate, but uh, it works. It it works for what I need. It's just meant to be um, a support vehicle, um, and again, uh, for a full uh, overview of this truck, um, have a look at it on my channel. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's decent. It's decent. You can sort of see you've got the green, blue, and red lights here. That's just sort of. Uh, well, that's meant to be lighting, but that's sort of just meant to indicate the water levels in the uh, tank on board. Next up, this is a favorite of mine, and I believe it's a favorite of uh, folks on the channel here. Uh, this is my aerial unit, my ladder truck, and uh, this is pretty well version 3 because I changed the, uh, the front end of it. 
Um, again, just trying to keep a bit of a North American look to it. There's a lot of uh, European fire engines, I'd say. Um, and so I just wanted to try and keep it a little bit more uh, in line with what I see in my area. Uh, taking a look at it here, you can see we have the um, we've got the large uh, doors here, the cargo area, and inside, uh, you know, we have some gear. We have uh, well, I guess I could take some of this stuff out here. Basically, you've got like uh, what's meant to be a little generator. You've got a few axes. And then uh, just inside the uh, this yellow uh, crate here, we've got walkie-talkie, wrench, uh, just some general tools for the firefighters to do uh, their jobs. Um, just some basic rescue tools. And then uh, in the side here, we got some uh, water bottles and uh, oxygen tanks, uh, Scott packs. And of course, right on top, we have the large um, aerial itself, the ladder. And then there's a, we'll just sort of cruise around to the back here. Uh, what I did add to this engine was the red wheels, of course, and uh, the chrome grill, because I just, I had the pieces left over. Got a little ladder that brings you up to the uh, aerial section. And then right in the very back, we have our warning lights, directional lighting, um, and then your your, your basic uh, lights and yeah not a ton more to say about this I um, I do like the look of it I'm quite happy with it is it based on any real fire truck in particular not necessarily it's just meant to be um, a North American uh, style of fire truck and uh, the ladder goes up pretty far, plus there's an additional ladder here that would extend. And uh, I think that about covers it for this one. So uh, let's move on. Okay, this one here, this is meant to be my brush truck. And uh, this one's sort of meant to be driven by and operated by my volunteer fire department. They... Uh, they sort of have the uh, beige torsos, as you can sort of see uh, see inside here. And um, yeah, I figured I like I had them and I wanted to use them for something. But uh, yeah, in the front here again, we've got the uh, chrome grill. And then uh, as we uh, come around the truck, you've got the side steps here. Uh, got those nice stickers to. Uh, really give it that metallic look. And you've got the bumper unit in the front with a few levers. Uh, the only thing I did change was the location of the hose in the back. Originally I had it on the bottom, but I wasn't happy with it down there, so I did move it up top. And then uh, obviously you've got a little fire extinguisher in the cargo area. But this isn't a truck that would necessarily be used often. It just depends more if there are um, let's say uh, forest fires or um, I don't know uh, rural firefighting um, got the larger wheels on it and uh, it's sort of meant to be uh, modeled after a uh, international style of truck although officially I can't say that's what it is but that's what it's modeled after and um, the color scheme's a little bit different. We've got the yellow uh, and obviously the yellow logo, which I think looks really nice. So uh, no complaints there. Got a hose reel on the side. Yeah, overall, this is uh, this is definitely one of my favorite trucks in my fleet. Next up, this is my light rescue truck, and. Uh, not to be confused with a brush truck, I mean this does have off-road capability because of the larger tires, but it is meant to be a light rescue vehicle. Um, so this would just be called upon whenever, uh, whenever you know, light rescue operations are uh, required. And it does have some special equipment on board. Uh, you know, obviously you gotta 
you got lights and you got uh, axes and uh, inside the back of the truck here you've got rope um, got a pickaxe and then obviously we've got a uh, spotlight which would be good for whatever um, operations going on give them give them additional lighting uh, inside here binoculars as well as life vests and uh, this is just sort of meant to be maybe like a, a generator uh, built into the truck not a uh, not a pump so on this side here th those would be like the uh, outlets used to plug uh, special equipment in but uh, yeah that's all this truck is really uh, meant to be and uh, I think it looks uh, looks pretty good it's basically a, a pickup truck with a uh, uh, equipment body on it so um, yeah that, that about sums it up for this one uh, let's keep going all right here we have the battalion chief's uh, vehicle and this is sort of meant to be uh, an SUV kind of like the uh, Kind of like the police SUV that I uh, showcased recently on the channel. Uh, sort of modeled after, I guess you could say, like a Ford Explorer or Chevy Equinox, although that's not what it is. They sort of have that bit of an overhang on the off the rear windshield. And it does sit a bit higher up than your average, um, your average car in my city. Um, I do keep the builds uh, at four wide, although with the... Uh, with the mud guards, they almost looked like maybe five wide. And same thing with the mirrors, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. This would be for the battalion chief, and uh, just in the back here, he's got some. Uh, he's got his equipment, got his uh, Scott pack and mask, and uh, this is a real easy one. <laughs> All right, so here we have the fire department UTV. And uh, this would be used probably for wildland firefighting. You can see just on the back here, it's equipped with a um, small firefighting package. Uh, so a small tank and hose, of course. And uh, yeah, this would be used basically for wildland firefighting. You need to get to areas that are not easily accessed by uh, larger trucks. And um, my uh, my firefighter here is a one of the specialists. Just has that uh, has that nice uh, torso, uh, the yellow torso, and just wildland firefighting. Normally they don't have the uh, structural helmet; they just sort of have what looks like a hard hat. So that's all I really had available. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is a uh, this is a nice little build. It's just. Uh, just something extra and I mean it does have the ability to uh, tow a trailer which I initially had for this but I ended up using the parts for uh, something else but that's okay and I mean if ever I wanted to I could down the line maybe I could remove this uh, pump section and hose and just put something else in there maybe for uh, maybe for rescue but uh, overall I do like the uh, UT UTVs um, I like UTVs in general, in fact, uh, I think they're fun to drive. And then last up here, I have my ambulances. And uh, you can see that they're both a little different. This one on the right here, this one's sort of meant to be based on an Econoline van with an ambulance body. And this one's sort of meant to be a pickup truck with an uh, ambulance body on it. Um, and. Uh, they both, they both look pretty good. Uh, this one has the privacy um, stickers or markings on the uh, glass windows. And then uh, in the back here, you can see we've got our, uh, got our custom stretcher. This is one that was uh, featured on my channel. I did a tutorial for it. And uh, I think it still holds up pretty well today. So it just folds up and gets placed back in the uh, ambulance here and uh, no problem same thing with this one um, this one I'm a bit more proud of but this one has the uh, panel roof that just sort of pops off and then you can kind of see inside there you've got the other uh, 
stretcher and it uh it they they look pretty good as far as i'm concerned um especially i think this one is my favorite i didn't put any privacy stickers on this one i thought it looked good without and of course um both of these ambulances they have uh the warning lights in the back and obviously the warning lights in the front and, and as I said, they're just meant to be different models of ambulance. And um, I, I guess I could sort of say that they're operated by the fire department, if not working very closely with them anyway. Um, they're not an individual agency, so I would probably put rope them in with my uh, fire department. The color schemes are pretty uh, uniform. But uh, yeah, this is my, uh, my medical service here. My emergency medical service. All right, so that's all of them. All of my uh, fire department vehicles as well as my uh, EMS vehicles, my two ambulances. So I'll, I hope you enjoyed having a look at my fleet here. And uh, hey, feel free to leave me a comment. Always enjoy reading them. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and smash that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And uh, I'll be back soon with, uh, with more content. I do have a fire station, which I'll be showcasing hopefully soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll talk to you all again real, real soon.